Hello, dear traders and viewers. Uh, today we're going to discuss the ECB minimal bid rate uh, since the date is coming up in about 10 minutes, uh, which you can obviously see if you look uh, up on the uh, running uh, text uh, line. So uh, sh uh, I would like to remind you at this point that short-term uh, interest rates are the paramount factor and currency valuation. Uh, and uh, traders look at most other indicators merely to predict how rates will change in the future. So as you can see, uh, the current uh, forecast for March is 0.25%, whereas the uh, February figure was also 0.25%. So let's move on <coughs> Sorry, further. Uh, as you can see, uh, as usual, we have uh, uh, it is possible to see, why is my camera working? So it is possible to see that uh, we have uh, different uh, economists surveyed on the matter across the globe from uh, uh, banks and firms. And uh, according to this data, the median estimate was 0.25%, average estimate was 0.25%. 4% a high estimate of 0.25% and low estimate of 0.10% uh, whereas the number of estimates uh, is 57. Uh, so let us uh, let us talk about uh, the uh, forecast a little bit. So with Eurozone inflation slipping last month to lows last seen uh, Four years ago, there's a strong case for fresh policy action when the central bank meets the press today. Uh, but inertia is a powerful force at the ECB, which has a history in the recent years of hoping for the best. There are risks, of course, to rolling out a new round of monetary stimulus, uh, but there are also risks to staying put at the moment, uh, the potential threat of letting disinflation accelerate into deflation outweighs other concerns by more than a trivial amount. Uh, even, if, uh, even if the recent signs of the Eurozone recovery are the real deal, strengthening momentum by juicing the economy through monetary policy would be a sound decision. And this is the comment from uh, James Picerno, a um, analyst from Capital Six Theater. And uh, if we also, um, a look on the uh, credit agricoles announcement on EFX News that uh, they do not believe the ECB can afford to do nothing next uh, this week, having uh, intentionally raised hopes of fresh monetary easing. At some point, the market will ask for more than dovish words. However, whether the government government con council is trying to correct what has been priced in as a policy mistake. The perception of a more hawkish shift in March to lean against a Fed-induced tightening or to prepare for a more ambitious response to deflation risks makes all the difference in terms of the tools the ECB might use eventually. Um, the timing of any ECB response remains highly uncertain as it will continue to hinge upon near-term inflation development. So that was the credit agricole announcement, and uh, last but not, not least, we have our uh, FX community, of course, um, comments on the impact on the U uh, Euro US dollar currency pair, and my camera seems stuck somewhere, I don't know, okay. So as you can see, uh, our uh, traders were uh, rather bullish on on the matter, uh, that is 51.85% bullish versus 84.15% bearish comments. And uh, one of our uh, bullish comments uh, by Waltrad that uh, it, is, it is expected without changes, the uh, bid rate, of course, and small movements upwards. Comments, CCB in 45 minutes can cause the directed movement. And a comment by uh, our dear son and trader that uh, that you are on low inflation below 1% and in her opinion ECB may take any decision about interest rates. Probably no change, but the Eurozone uh, needs some stimulus for uh, improved economical condition. And 
key effect, uh, bearish impact on the euro, US dollar currency here. Okay, so I do believe that it is all from my side. And at this point, I would like to uh, welcome Alex on the whiteboard, who will cover up on the more technical uh, side of the matter. And Alex is already on. Thank you, Paulina. Hello, everyone. So, I hope, guys, you have fast in your seatbelts because today there's a rather high possibility that markets will be highly volatile. And as Paulina already mentioned today, we are discussing the potential impact of the ECB minimum bid rate announcement. Uh, however, I would like to point out that also the ECB will uh, assess its uh, marginal lending facility rate and deposit rate, which, is st which stands at 0.75% and 0% respectively. And even though the consensus, consensus forecast stands for no change at uh, all three rates, uh, inflation rate at four-year low and growth at 0.2% actually are all adding more pressure on the ECB to pull the trigger today. So once again, there is a rather high possibility that markets will be highly volatile. So therefore, our trading strategy will be based on EURUSD, obviously, and I'll be speaking about the possible uh, possible dovish comments from the ECB or the uh, interest rate cut. And therefore, the single currency is expected to depreciate versus the greenback and other major currencies. And so here we see one minute chart on the EURUSD. Uh, actually, currently the pair is trading at 137.57. And after, uh, let me double check, uh, after uh, 19 pips rally, the pair stopped for a while. And as you can see, the major take profit was just placing around 137.14. And actually, that would be a four hour support. However, I would like to also to point out that uh, on the four hour chart, we see that this level is not far away from the crucial psychological level of 137. And recently, the pair has been experiencing difficulties around this level. So it's considered to be a key level for short traders. However, in case uh, I guess Mario Draghi will refuse providing some bold statements and he will not intervene in the financial markets. Therefore, the market reaction will be even more, more uh, modest and therefore another alternative take profit can be placed around for our support as well at 137.40. Regarding the stop loss, here you can see that on the one in the chart, the, the pair has formed a similar triangle which actually has been already breached. However, we're just placing a stop loss around uh, pattern support and around 200 minutes simple moving average, just around uh, 137.63, 64. Sorry, yeah, but we see that the count of the pair is appreciating, and the stop loss has already been reached. However, yes, it's worth revising the trading strategy and placing the stop loss around two days high, around 137.72. So. Uh, Regarding the market sentiment, yeah, we see that it's currently strongly bearish, nothing really changed, as more than 60% of traders are holding short positions on the pair. Meanwhile, the single currency is sold in 56% of all cases. And so when having a look at pending orders, we see that traders expect the pair to depreciate in the medium and longer term, as vast majority of pending orders in the 50 and 100 bits range are placed to sell the pair. Uh, meanwhile, market sentiment provided by other market participants also speaks in favor of pairs depreciation as we see the traders at one, the stacks of bank daily fix are selling the pair in more than 60% of the, uh, of all, of the all cases, yeah. And yeah, finally, as always, a table with the technical indicators and here we see that indicators only on a daily chart support, support the fact uh, the pair will depreciate as a uh, vast majority of them are neutral, suggesting that the pair will continue moving sideways. So, uh, the data should be probably already be out. Yeah, and I would also like to point out that uh, later today we're having an ECB press conference, actually, and it's even more likely that it will provide some... Uh, it will shed light on the ECB monetary policy and we see that the pair is counted is highly volatile. And first, the pair has depreciated uh, more than 26 pips. However, currently, it bounced back and already trading around our potential stop loss at 137.73. So we see that the 
yeah, all three uh, rates were unrevised. With the minimum bit rate at 0 0.25, marginal lending facility at 0 0.75, and deposit rate is also at zero, uh, so nothing really surprising. Yep, and one more thing I would like to show you. Uh, here you see that um, usually uh, markets react quite differently uh, on the minimum base rate announcement, and we see that two months ago uh, the market reaction was just seven pips. However, in November, when Draghi decided to reduce the interest rate uh, to a fresh low of 0.25%, the euro USD plunged more than 100 pips, so quite an impressive move. And in case we'll see something similar today, I, I mean, not the uh, rate cuts, but some really dovish comments, then the pair still has a great potential to depreciate. And so, just to conclude, on the daily chart, we see that the pair is still trading in the boundaries of the rising wedge pattern, uh, right almost in the middle of the trading range. And once again, there are two actually key levels for short traders. First of all, that we can to take profit uh, just slightly below around 137, sorry. Uh, while the next key support can be found at 136, yeah, just 100 pips lower. Actually, very easy to remember. And the lowest key support is represented by uh, daily support. Sorry, that's weekly support, 200 days for the long average, and pattern support. So I see that I guess 97 to 3 has a question, so you can easily put it in the chat, chat section. Yeah. So, and one more thing, that's a four hour chart. Here we see a completely different situation, and the pair is trading in the boundaries of the four hour chart. Oh, sorry, in the boundaries of the channel down pattern, meaning that uh, the pair is already overbought, and we see something similar to a correction, or maybe that's already the beginning of the new trend. So, I guess it would be pretty much from my side. Hope that was useful for some of you. Uh, so, yeah, I guess 97 to 3, I will uh, answer on the question uh, in the chat section because I know that soon we are having a daily webinar with Professor, so I will leave the floor to Paulina and Gita and they will be able to proceed with the webinar. So, thank you guys and I'll give the floor back to you, Paulina. Thank you very much, Alex, for presenting the uh technical side of the uh, question. So, I guess that's it uh, on uh, from our side on the news release, so as you can see guys, uh, data is in uh, slightly uh, the same as expected. And uh, yeah, Alexander is uh, going to answer your question. Yes, 9073 uh, in about like uh, a second. And yes, be sure to stay tuned because like in about uh, 15 minutes or so, we're going to have our 12 GMT daily webinar and we have a guest professor, Stefano Gatti from Bocconi University, who will discuss the Italian economy. It's going to be very interesting and feel free to ask your question in the chat section as well. See you in 15 minutes. Bye.